and it is just taking it off like butter. It's awesome. Having a bit of a panic. We might kill it. It's working hard. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Squarespace, whose intuitive all-in-one platform hosts our shiny new website. We are Brett and Jade Evans. We decided to go for our dreams and purchased this wrecked sailboat. We're working hard to restore it and to document the journey with new episodes every week. Subscribe and join us on our greatest expedition yet. ground and cleaned all that we could do on the inside. We're ready to fiberglass and fix all that damage. And we're waiting on all of our stuff to come in the mail still. <laughs> to come in the mail still. So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and take care of our bottom. We've got this yucky ablative bottom paint and it has to come off. We're gonna do it with the power washer. A quick recap for all of you new faces here. We bought our boat at auction and have since launched it, moved it to a new yard, gutted the main saloon interior, ground out pounds of bad fiberglass and gel coat, dropped the keel and rudder, refiberglassed it all, and put it back on. And betwixt all those arts and crafts projects, we've been working on removing the anti-fouling paint because we pretty much never take a day off. Which means this video actually took place in, over, around, and between weeks worth of other projects. We've compiled our anti-fouled footage into a bite-sized watchable series. Welcome to part one. Our salvage sailboat is like a box of birdie bots every flavor beans. We know it's blind date with the ocean floor trashed the internal support structure. And when we dropped Shaquille, he pulled a Mike Tyson and took a chunk of the boat with him. But we still don't know how much of the damage is lurking beneath the anti-fouling paint. Since it's caked on thicker than Tom Hanks' Vegemite, it all has to come off. First thing this morning, we traded Jade's left kidney for a hopped up pressure washer, and we have until dark to blast off as much anti-fouling paint as humanly possible. Splitting up, she's still at the boat power washing. I'm gonna run to the store, get some paint stripper, and hopefully speed up the process. We'll put that on, need some lunch, and then we'll hit it again after lunch. I got some awesome paint stripper, environmentally friendly. Hopefully it works. Jade, on the other hand, is still blasting away. She's an animal. This is an ablate of anti-fouling, which means it's designed to kamikaze anytime an unsuspecting sea creature latches onto it. 
This makes the whole project as satisfying as, well, blasting paint off with 4,000 psi of molten ice. All right, I got Jade to pause pressure washing for a minute. We're gonna try putting on the, whatever this is, paint stripper with the airless sprayer that we just bought. Put it on there, we'll let it sit, and hopefully everything just comes off like butter. Just trying to figure out how it works. It's a pretty cheap Harbor Freight airless sprayer, so I'm not overly confident. But I'm hopeful that counts for something. And this is biodegradable, so that'll be really nice too. Good pick, Brett. I'm not very hopeful that it's gonna work because it's just too thick. <laughs> it's like trying to suck up mayonnaise. I was thinking that it would be good on our sound. We might kill it. <laughs> it's working hard. It could be like a fan. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, no. It's like chili string. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. It's working again. Kind of. It, just, it can't keep up. What? Verdict? Um, it didn't work. <laughs> it did not work. This stuff is too thick. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to blame the sprayer. I think it's probably a great sprayer. <laughs> this is thick stuff though. Yeah, it definitely was not designed to spray this. And Brett has assigned me with the task of trying to get as much of the paint thinner back. Because we need every drop. So <laughs> my job is now to, to get it all out of the tube. How am I supposed to do that? I think you did great. It was good. Well done. <laughs> the new plan is that we're gonna put on gloves and spread it manually. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh, I guess I should have just put it back in. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I got you gloves somewhere, but I won't touch them because it's going to be fun. The morning passed as quickly as the bear in pit, and power washing passed as slowly as a rice-sized kidney stone. Since we are quickly running out of day and fuel, we are hoping that this vegan mayonnaise substitute will do the trick and moisten the paint. The underside, port aft sector, or the back left for all you normal people, is particularly ornery, so it's getting the lion's share of the Greek yogurt. Big thank you to Squarespace for helping keep our channel and our expedition alive. You all know we recently moved over to Squarespace and it has been awesome having our website and our new little store just working seamlessly for us in the background. What's impressive is that after our launch a couple weeks ago, Squarespace's analytics told us that literally no one, no one, except for me, liked our camel colored shirts. So we've amended our offerings because apparently all of you just like shades of blue. If you're looking to build your own website, use our link below, squarespace.com forward slash exhibition Evans. It directly helps us and our channel and helps you by starting you off with a free trial and 10% off your first website or domain. The paint stripper is surprisingly more expensive than stripper paint. And since we're particularly thrifty parents of a boat that seems to keep growing, we are being careful to use every bit of it. 
And now we wait. Good job. Got about a quarter of the bow. Uh, I'd say a third of the bottom. Since it's narrow in the front. I think two more buckets would do the rest. Having a bit of a panic moment. Just got another email from work. Everything's kind of been on hold and up in the air with COVID. Been out of work for a while on pause. And now I was told I was gonna work in like two weeks. And now that's been moved up to just over a week. And so our timeline for getting this all done is shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. And so we're feeling the pressure of time. With that, our stripper is starting to dry. So we're gonna go pressure wash and see if we can start knocking this out because we gotta get moving. Time to pressure wash fast. Well, so we have two options. Either we just accept that the paint stripper isn't gonna do anything, or we wait longer. I don't know, it didn't, it doesn't, it didn't do anything. So, I mean, it says it needs either three to 24 hours, and we waited two. <laughs> so that could be that, part of the problem. That could be the problem. So, I mean, we can just wait. We can go clean the inside. That needs to happen too. Well, the other side was come power washing off really easy. So maybe I'll just go finish power washing the other side. Okay. For some reason, the starboard side, bottom paint is coming off really easy and the port side is not. We were debating why. It, it was on land for a long time while it was being salvaged before we got it. So we're like, well, maybe the sun was on that side or maybe there are two guys that painted it and the guy who painted the starboard side did a terrible job and like didn't let it set right. I don't know. I don't know why. If you guys have any ideas, let us know. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go get all that easy paint off. We're nearing the end of noisy working hours in the yard, so it's now or never to see if the veganase did the trick. Power washing the bottom is going so well now. Brett was able to get the fan attachment to work because we have more pressure, and it is just taking it off like butter it's awesome uh, we're trying to trying to get it done it's golden hour now we've got a couple hours left before the sun sets and I'm, I'm I'm hoping that we can finish up tonight so that we don't have to roll over with the power washer in the morning so then we'll have to rent it for another day but we've got a little bit more than halfway done so there's a chance we'll see the port aft side uh, really it's pretty stuck on there so we'll see if the paint stripper helps loosen it up a little bit <laughs> I think the only hard part is is the, we're like where you have to go underneath and try to get the areas around the keel. Oh, it sounds like we're running out of gas. Um, yeah, like I was saying, the areas around the keel are the hardest to get because, um, just because of how wrecked it got the day we dropped the keel. If you haven't seen the video where we dropped our keel, I'll link it down below. But basically that day, it just delaminated a huge area on the bottom of the boat. And we have holes everywhere from where the keel bolts go, which means we have to be very careful. <laughs> Anytime we're working under there with the power washer because we don't want to flood our boat with water We obviously covered the holes, but there's a lot of very delicate fragile areas with that fiberglass that wants <laughs> It just wants to delaminate and even more so we're being very careful because we don't want to give ourselves more work to do But other than that, it's going really well. We're making a lot of progress. We just ran out of gas So uh, we are gonna have to go fill that up um, But I think there's a chance that we might be able to get it before sunset it's a slim chance, though, we'll probably end up having to do it tomorrow morning. Uh, I think we have to return it by 9, so tomorrow morning before 9. I hope the neighbors don't mind. <laughs> and there's Brett. Ran out of gas, huh? And we don't have a gas can. Uh, his idea was not to buy one. Sorry about that. Not pointing fingers. Can we take them? Do you guys want to come? Oh, they're tethered. 
sorry, but I'll come and tether you. We're just going to the gas station. Over and I want to be fast because it's really loud and people live here, so. Let's be fast then. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh. Oh, I got knocked up. All right, Danny, go, buddy. Should old acquaintance be forgotten? So when it filled up the first time, it took two and a half gallons. When I just filled it up now, it only took a gallon and a half. One and a half gallons. Which means we weren't out of gas. These are some other reason why I kept dying, which, I mean, when I looked in the gas tank, it was pretty dirty. So that's not a good sign. A lot of fun, but not as fast as we were expecting, and we didn't finish. We got a little more than half power washed off, um, but even then it didn't go all the way down, and it was really expensive to rent it for the day. So, a lot of fun, cool experience. We're gonna return it in the morning, and then we don't know what we're gonna do after that. We're gonna figure it out in the morning. <laughs> In the morning, we pick up where we left off. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hit subscribe and join us next week, because it turns out sanders work great most of the time. I, I don't think it's cheating if there's no rules. Brett reminded me today, a couple years ago, we used to, you know, when we were always watching the sailing YouTube channels and dreaming of when we would finally buy our liveaboard boat, I told him, like, I am just so excited to do a bottom job. I don't know what it was, but I was just wanting to do it. It was like this rite of passage to having a liveaboard boat or something. I don't know. <laughs> and so he reminded me of that today, and it's just, it's been fun. Here we are doing a bottom job, and it's just as hard as it looked in the videos, except we don't have to scrape anything so far. Hopefully it'll stay that way. Um.